All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the deployable light globe mod, which was originally made by form user Alex Eustace. It has now been resurrected by Burning Khan. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a Kerbal Inventory System compatible part that is a deployable light globe like the one seen in the movie Sunshine. And I really do love this thing. I always love having deployable lights that I can set around places. So let's jump right into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at our new toy. And let's grab a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake here, and then just head down to the utility tab to take a look at our deployable light globe, which is actually kind of a sizable part. I mean, it's roughly the size of of a Kerbal, a little bit smaller, but all in all is a pretty nice little package. Very nicely textured and modeled. I do like the uh, up arrow right there, very good. And uh, all in all, pretty cool little part. Now as for its stats, as I did mention, it is a Kerbal inventory system compatible part. So it can be carried by Kerbals, put into containers, and then deployed somewhere out in the world. It is a light, so it will use electricity charge at 2.4 per minute and has a built-in battery of 100. Now you do, to attach it to a surface, you do need a tool, either the, uh, the, uh, electric screwdriver or just the utility wrench either will work, but you do need one of them to actually plop this thing down on the ground. Now, there are two oddities with this thing that, yeah, I'm, I'm a little torn on. I Overall, I love this part. It's great, but these two things are kind of annoying. The first is that it is a Kerbal Inventory System part, so you generally want to put it in a container and sort of the standard low-level container is this one, which has a capacity of a thousand liters. And this part, if we just try to put it in there, is 100 liters too large. It is 1,100 liters. How? <laughs> Look at the size of this thing compared to the size of the box. So you can't even fit one of them into this container when realistically, I mean, you should be able to fit at least three or four of them inside of that, but it is 1,100 liters. Thankfully, though, you can attach it radially as I have here, so you just need to pop your Kerbal out of your craft and grab the thing off the ship, but it kind of annoys me I can't even put it into the small size container. The larger one, sure, but not the small ones. It's a little strange. Now, the other strange part, and this one's a lot less strange, it just makes me think why. Um, see this little part right here on the uh, globe light? That is the port connector to attach it to your ship. It does have a built-in battery, but it's only 100. So if you want it to last longer, you either have to use the Kerbal attachment system to attach a extra battery or maybe a generator onto it or hook it to a ship. Now, generally, that's done with a connector port. I can close this container now. Uh, typically, it's done with one of these connector ports. The connector port doesn't fit to that, but a winch does. For some reason, they chose the winch as the connection method, and I don't know why. It would make more sense that it's the connector port, but this thing atta attaches with the winch. I, again, not sure why, that's a lot less of an issue in my mind than the size of a container, but still, it's just something to keep in mind. Now, as for the actual light, let's uh, just click that on and zoom out, and that is what you're going to get in the world. It extends out from the box and is actually a pretty darn bright light, and you can, of course, adjust the color as with any other light if you so desire. And, of course, does still function if it's attached to your ship. So you don't have to put this on the ground. You can have like 20 of these encompassing your rocket and 
they'll turn on and function just like any other light, which kind of amuses me. So let's go out into the world and uh, take a look at how this all works. And I have my little deployable light globe ship here, which uh, I originally started building, as you can see, with containers until I realized they don't fit in there. So uh, I kept them, though, because, well, I like the look. So let's go out to the launch, pla launch pad, rather, if I can talk, and deploy some deployable lights. Let's get uh, Jebediah out there. There. And even though we can use either of the tools, I just kind of threw both of them in there. So let's just grab the uh, electric screwdriver because it's my favorite. And just go ahead and hit G to grab this thing off the side of our vessel. And we then, of course, hit H to attach it to the ground. Now, technically, you don't have to attach it. You actually can just place it, but then you can, you know walk into it and it'll bounce around, etc. If you actually attach it, it's it's on the ground now. And then what we need to do is go over to our grab connector, because oh, well, actually if I should probably come back over here, if we right click, we cannot deploy the light right now. What we have to do is grab the connector, go over here, plug it in. For some reason, it never works on the first try. <laughs> Do it again. There we are. And thankfully, I don't need to get back in the ship because I put a uh, probe core on there. And we just go over here and we can now deploy the light. And there it goes. We can see the battery at 100. It is deploying nicely. And soon, we'll have a beautiful light lighting up this area. And what we can then do is either go back to Jebediah here and unplug it, or we can simply just right click and unplug it from here and that light is now a normal light it's just gonna sit there in the world and I love that <laughs> we have this light now permanently placed wherever it is that you want to place it and that's just cool so you can use these to set up like a landing zone on the moon or on duna or you know make yourself a uh, airstrip out in the middle of the desert if you want all you gotta do is pop them onto the ground now of course we can reattach at any time to uh basically give us back control and we could then turn the light back off but, I mean, why would you want to? Leave it there. <laughs> and you can always, like I said, this is the Kerbal Inventory and Attachment System. You can then grab, like, say, one of these radioisotope generators and attach it to this light so that it then never runs out of power. And you can just leave these things all over the place wherever you so desire. And one thing I was thinking about earlier just before starting recording that would be very cool is having some sort of truck out on Duna to build a runway out there on some flat bit of land and the truck just kind of rolls along dropping these things off and then moving to the next, dropping it off, moving to the next, dropping it off, etc. It just it just seems fun to me. And like I did say earlier, when they are attached to your ship, well, they are normal lights, so we can hit all of those, and there we go. We now have all of these weird random lights protruding from our vessel, which just amuses me that you, you can use them like such. I mean, imagine a rocket just encompassed with these things. It would be ridiculous and fantastic. <laughs> but yes, the big feature, though, of course, is the unpluggable, leavable light there. So we could then move on somewhere else, place another, and use it for whatever you need. Lighting up your colony, making that airstrip, or even just marking an interesting location. It's all up to you. So yeah, if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod and why did that blow up my landing legs <laughs> god i love this game sometimes how does that make sense i attached a radioisotope generator and it blew up my landing legs oh well but now this now this lamp is powered forever and that is that, so I hope you haven't joined you, do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!